Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death from Above. It is Wednesday, which means it is Arms Day. We gotta check on Banshee, make sure he's still here. I mean, the tower looks fine. What could go wrong? What could happen here? I mean, it's a perfectly serene social space, very well protected. So uh, I'm not real concerned. So let's talk about some guns of the arms in the arms day. So what I like to do in my arms day videos is talk about the field test weapons. Then we'll look at the foundry orders that he has brought us to make a decision on. Then we're going to talk about next week's foundry orders. So if that sounds like fun, let's get to it. So we got uh, two hand cannons. We got one in the crucible that I just will not do. And then we got uh, one to make double kills. So you can do that literally anywhere. Uh, Suros TSP-10 used against Vex targets. Haka Test A used against Hive targets. And the Amalan Test R1 used against Fallen Captains. I like to do the Fallen Captains in uh, Moth Yards, I believe it is. In the, uh, if that's right, it's probably not right. But uh, in the, uh, ooh, Cosmodrome. Right before you get to that uh, inside area where that goes to Skywatch, there's three captains in that area you can use. And it has to be Red Bar Captains. Uh, the shotgun you can do right after that inside before you get to Skywatch. Uh, kill some Hive with it that way. Then we have uh, the Vex Target. I usually do these on Venus. Just because it's easier, you can do that in the double kills at the same time, or, or you know, do the double kills while you do the shotgun and the sniping. I don't know, any one of those. Uh, good PV PVE, and it only takes four to level up the gunsmith. So if you ignore this one, you'll be fine. But if you want to do that one, go for it. I mean, it's not uh it's pretty awful. I'm not gonna lie to you. That gun sucks. <laughs> so let's uh, let's look at some foundry orders. Now I do have all the foundry orders from last week. We've got the. Uh, up for an HC4, which I which I called a mid impact mid rate of fire hand cannon, but it's actually a uh, high impact low rate of fire hand cannon. So uh, I was wrong on that last week. We've also got the Arminius D, the Aoife Rua D, the Azum, and the Irene, along with a couple bonus packages. I think we've got an Arminius D and a PDX45. Maybe that God roll will show up. Maybe. So let's take a look at the up for an HC4. I'm seeing some good options. Looking for Rifled Barrel, obviously. There's Rifled Barrel, Army of One, and Outlaw. That's really good. Uh, starting off real strong. Steady Hand, Sure Shot, Faster. Also, you got the Sure Shot like you need and like you like it. So, uh, going off real good already in the beginning. I'm liking what I'm seeing. So, next up, we have Zen Moment Firefly with Oiled Frame. So, probably not. Uh, rifled Barrel is pretty much a necessity on these hand cannons because the range is pretty poor without it so if you want to be competitive because usually in PvE uh, you're not using this gun in PvP you will use it so uh, that's what I would do there and uh, don't worry too much about that so I uh, definitely go for rifled barrel on that gun and uh, eh, you know if it doesn't have rifled barrel but it's got the other perks that you like I mean it's not a bad choice it's just not something I'm gonna pick uh, next up we have rifled barrel army of one life support danger close Single point sling with uh, the true sight, the steady hand, and the fast draw. I would go with the first one. First one on the upper is definitely the best choice, or my choice of the week. Outlaw, Army of One, and Rifled Barrel. Cool gun. Next up, we have the Azum RR4. Snibby rifle. It is basically a scout rifle. Uh, can be cool. I like this luck in the chamber one right here. Look at this. Okay. Snapshot luck in the chamber, unflinching with shoot to loot or rifled barrel. <laughs> shoot to loot. When's the last time you saw that? I haven't seen that since year one. So shoot the loot if you want that. And then uh, rifle barrel if you want it, but I would go with this top section. Uh, first look, that one looks like it's probably the best of the week, so I'm gonna go uh, check the other two for you. Uh, Firefly if you want it. Oiled frame, quick draw. Firefly, life support, eye of the storm. This one could be good too, depending on what you like to do. It's got the uh, Yapaki and the Falcon Punch scope. So, I still like the first one the best so far. Then we have Unflinching with Firefly. I'm not a big fan of Firefly on my sniper rifles because you just don't have many bullets. And I'm not always getting headshots. I'm more so go to the body and just uh, knock the enemy down and destroy them. Destroy them. So, uh, but Firefly Quick Draw Unflinching is a good setup. Very similar to the other one. Uh, but I like the luck in the chamber because it's a sniper rifle. It has a small mag. So that luck in the chamber is going to hit hard and you're going to get a lot. So that's what I think about that one. Uh, let's uh, check out some more guns, man. Alright, more guns for the getting. Let's talk, Banshee, what you got. So, next up we have the Haka Arminius D Auto Rifle. This is a uh, high rate of fire, low impact auto rifle that I'm really looking forward to getting something 
with focus fire, counterbalance, and brace frame. Now that god roll is probably not going to show up anytime soon, but I know you can have it because they occupy different slots in the weapon. So maybe one day, probably not this day, but this gun you're getting a lot of stability and uh, the right scopes. I like the uh, the hollow, not the range scope. But uh, the Army of One range finder, high caliber rounds, hand loaded rifle barrel. Not something I'm looking for. Lots of range there, but lots of bad stability on that gun. So you may not have a good time trying to shoot that one. Uh, rifle barrel again, high caliber, speed reload, glass half hold, danger close. Same problem. Uh, Watchdog scopes, not too bad, but I don't like it. And then third, we have range finder, partial refund, single voice link, fitted stock, and brace frame. There's a brace frame. That one will give you the range. That one's one third of a good roll. So uh, it does have the hollow scope, though, so it gets a bonus point. And the thermal. Those are the two scopes that I like on this gun, but uh, that's about it. So I'm going to hold on to this one until next week. Hopefully, hopefully. Bungie gets a little bit more generous with this gun, but uh, you never know. They don't, uh, I don't think they pay attention to it. It's like a redhead stepchild, but it's a really cool gun, and I like it with a certain perk setup. Uh, next up, we have the Aoife Rua D Sniper Rifle. Uh, interesting gun, can roll with different perks. Kind of a fun gun. The Scout is the low zoom scope, and the Raptor is the other scope. Private Eye, mm, Feeding Frenzy, Explosive Rounds, Armor Piercing, and a Pendant Magazine. Let's go to the next one. Uh, that doesn't intrigue me too much. Uh, next up we have Outlaw and Gorilla Fighter. If this was Destiny 2, Gorilla Fighter would be very interesting. But I got nowhere to hide in Destiny 1. So Explosive, Armor Piercing, Appendant Magazine, and Outlaw. Uh, Raptor Scout. Not too interested in that one either. And then finally we have Feeding Frenzy Rodeo, uh, Explosive Snapshot, and Appendant Magazine with the Raptor and the Long Range. So, uh... I think this one's the best with the perk setup, but it doesn't have the scout scope, so you're going to be running that raptor scope, which is okay. Uh, but rodeo feeding frenzy for the kills and the reloads. Rodeo will help you control that recoil and snapshot, or a uh, pendant magazine, or explosive rounds. Yeah, I think that's the best of the bunch. Uh, so grab it if you want it. And I think that's it for this character. Let's see what else we got. Are right, you guys ready for the good stuff? Let's, uh, let's get to the good stuff, Banshee. Let me see that, uh... Let me see what you, got, what you got under there. What? What is he talking about? All right. We got uh, three more guns. We're going to talk about the Ludmilla D High Impact Low Rate of Fire Pulse Rifle. Let's see what we got here. Rodeo Head Seeker High Caliber Rounds Fitted Stock Hand Laid Stock. Ooh, that's real close. That's real close. I want one with the counterbalance right here. What do you guys think? Should I consider picking that up? It's got the Assault and the Post Scope, though. That's real close, but it doesn't have the scopes that I like. Kind of weighs me in the other direction. Crowd control unflinching uh, with the hollow. That's the scope I want, the hollow and the thermal. Uh, crowd control unflinching, single point sling, fitted stock, hand laid stock. Oh, man, everything's not matching up this week uh, as far as the perk setups I want. And then we have glass half full, rodeo, high caliber rounds, hand loaded oil frame with the assault and the hollow. Uh, the first one uh, the first one had my, inch my interest, or it had my attention, so... I don't know. It it doesn't have the right scopes, and that rodeo is not really what I want. But that's the best one you should pick this week if you're wanting to grab one, and you like the Ludmilla, and you want to pick a gun up like that. So that's the one to grab there. Well, we're going to save that PDX-45 for later. You got a little sneak preview right there. Next up, we have the Irene RR4 sniper rifle. And got Army of One lightweight oil frame, last resort, and clown cartridge. This one's a pick your poison. It's a high-impact, low-rate-of-fire sniper rifle, so I'd recommend triple tap or... Something that'll deal a lot of bonus damage. Uh, it's a pretty cool gun, so I like it, but that one's okay. Next up, we have Army of One, Replenish, Single Point Sling, Casket Mag, Underdog. There's Casket Mag, not bad, with Replenish, uh, Corvo, Falcon, Ultra. I like the Falcon scope. Anyway, and then uh, the third option is Battle Runner Performance Bonus? Battle Runner Last Resort Injection Mold Lightweight Performance Bonus. Kills with this weapon have a chance to grant bonus ammo to the reserve. Uh, yeah, I guess that one's good. Injection Mold, Battle Runner, or Lightweight. Lightweight and Battle Runner make you move real quick. Uh, performance Bonus with the Yapaki and the Falcon. So I guess the third option would be the one that I would pick on that. Uh, but uh, let's talk about the PDX 45. What you got? Alright, first option, Icarus, which is not a bad option. Fitted stock, speed reload, hand laid stock. I like the speed reload, though. Fitted stock, Icarus, 
speed reload is going to give you pretty good stability. It's got the 19, the 26, and the 57. I like the 57 and the 19. I don't like the 26. So that one's decent. That one's decent. That'll, that'll perform for you. Next up, we have uh, Private Eye. Private Eye are bothering you. Same scopes as before. High caliber rounds, appended magazine, Private Eye, snapshot, and rifled barrel. Uh, decent, decent here, except for Private Eye. I don't like that. And then finally, what do we got on this third option? Icarus again. Okay. Icarus. This is the uh, Icarus week. Mm, high caliber rounds, feather mag, Icarus, speed reload, and rifled barrel. So you can go high caliber, Icarus rifle, and go for some long range and jumpity jump jumps. It's got all the scopes I like. I love the 28, 57, and 19. So, uh, yeah, the third one. Third option on the PDX 45 is a good one this week. But if you're holding out for that full auto god roll, it is not here yet. Bungie has not heard your cries. They said, go play the beta. We're busy right now. So, PDX 45, not this week. So let's take a look at next week's Foundry Orders. I mean, that's a good option. That third one's really, really good. But uh, it's not that full auto god roll. Uh, we have the Haka Arminius D again. Or the one I showed you already. It wasn't, but it was for sale last week. Uh, the DIS 43 mid impact mid rate of fire scout from Suros. Amlon 2 and LSR 4 mid impact mid rate of fire scout from Amlon. Really, really good scout rifles. Uh, Haka Jingu Kogo D shotgun. Very forgettable shotgun. Three in the mag. Mid rate of fire mid impact. Just silly. And the Amlon Zoom R 4 We just saw that one low rate of fire or the low impact high rate of fire uh, sniper rifle from Amalan. I definitely pick up the 2 and L at first. No, the Arminius D and the DIS are also very very good so these first three for sure these last two are very forgettable. Pick them up only if you're feeling silly. Uh, only if you're feeling silly. So those are the guns of the arms of the day. What do you guys think? Are you still playing Arms Day this week or are you just playing that dang beta? There's something going on in Destiny right now that I need to know about. I feel like the tower is too serene right now. It's like something bad's about to happen. So <laughs> let me know which guns you were picking up in the comments. Let me know what you're excited about. If you want me to take a look at any of them in depth, let me know in the comments. But until then, until next time, I'm Death from Above, and I will see you later. I see you bye.